GOT. Educating hoes on the what, where, hows of it, body in a board seat. Bitch, I school sluts on the what's and the who's and the guts and the shoes of how the body of a Porsche be. Uh. Congratulations for being on Taylor Gang, first lady of Taylor Gang. Thank you. How'd you meet Amber Rose? Like, cause she put you on the, to Taylor Gang, right? Told them about you? Well, me and Amber Rose met at an event we both got booked to host. So we met there, you know, had a great conversation off the break, you know, and um, we both come from humble beginnings and we've been through some stuff. So we clicked and um, we exchanged contacts. We became cool and um, Wiz was putting together his roster for Taylor Gang. Obviously, he wanted a female rapper. And he peeped my stuff. He loved my movement. He felt like it kind of matched what he had going on. Mm -hmm. Being as though I created the whole Boss Set movement and it's an empowering, positive movement. And he has the whole Taylor Gang movement. And it's, it's a positive thing. He's like a positive individual, yeah. you know what I mean? So he felt like it would match. And he loved the music. He left home to get my money right. All I knew was hustle, bitch. You see what my money like, but I need to smell What's the most dangerous situation you've been in? The most dangerous situation I've been in, I could say that was like really life threatening, is when I was staying with my uncle. I was like about 14 years old. And he basically starved me. Like, my mother would send him money to feed me and you know things like that and he wouldn't feed me like he would eat at the table and he wouldn't give me anything you know what I mean so that was like to me when you're that young and like he's feeding other people in my family like lies about me and they wouldn't talk to me you feel alone like you don't know you don't know how you're gonna get by the next day and one thing that I've never spoke on was I went back home to my country um, when I was around that age. And the reason why I've never spoke on that was because I blocked that out of my mind. But now I'm grown, so that's how I started my um, own foundation, which is Triumphant Angel Foundation. It's a foundation based on all aspects of abuse, regardless of age, sexual preference. It just focuses on all verbal, physical, mental, because of that. And when I feel like my purpose, I understand my purpose. My purpose is to help others. Who's your celebrity payer. crush? My boyfriend. Your boyfriend? <laughs> who, who, who's your boyfriend? Los. Los, Los. And I tell, for those who don't know who Los is, Los is the artist on Bad Boy. How'd you and Los yeah. meet? Well, Los is from Baltimore. So me and, like, he met me years, 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 years ago. And he tried to get with me. And, you know, we ran into each other a few times and we became cool and we became best friends first. Mm -hmm. And that's like my other half. That's the love of my life, my everything. And he's just an amazing, amazing, amazing artist. I learned a lot from him musically, you know what I mean? He's like a lyrical genius. And he showed me a lot of things and he taught me a lot of things musically. So, you know, he's like one of my, I could say like my biggest musical inspiration. I'm wired, let's start a fire. Might choke that bitch with a bob wire. My uh tire, say umpire. Whole lot of wealth I've acquired. Y'all know what it is, Lola Monroe. Make sure y'all check me out on globalgrind.com.